My next Disney trip is still way too far away for my liking, so when a DIY project came up around the house, I of course had to add a little bit of Disney in it to sort of get through my withdrawal symptoms. So here is my DIY Minnie Mouse kitchen towel. I do a lot of Disney crafts and DIYs to hold me over in between park visits, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, be sure to ring the bell and subscribe down below to get a notification when I upload a video every Monday and Thursday. I have a pretty tiny kitchen and there isn't really a good place for me to hang a towel. I tried for a long time to hang it over the handle on the oven door, but I always got really annoyed because it seemed to constantly be falling off and landing on the floor. So I decided to look around for one of the ones that will actually attach to the handle of the oven and I was having a really hard time finding one so eventually I just got really frustrated and decided to make my own. And since I will use any excuse to add some Disney magic to my life, of course, I decided to make a Minnie Mouse towel. I picked up a bundle of oven mitts and towels at Walmart and since I have several extra from this, I will probably end up making a little series of these, making a whole bunch of them as backups which may or may not all be Disney themed. But for now, from this bundle, we just need the black oven mitt and then a red hand towel or washcloth. I also used a sharp pair of scissors, some polka dot fabric for Minnie's bow, some white lace for my scrap bins, needle and thread, a few straight pins, and a little bit of plain ribbon in any coordinating color. For this project, I'm using a combination of my sewing machine and then regular hand sewing with a needle and thread. You could use whatever you want. For the really heavy parts where I had the oven mitt and the washcloth, the sewing machine seemed like the way to go, but generally speaking, I personally prefer to sew by hand. I just find that really soothing and I really like that. So it's really up to you and what you feel most comfortable using. First, I wanna go ahead and remove any tags. Next, I'm going to take the pot holder and my straight pins, and with the little loop to the top, I'm going to fold the oven mitt up in half. Once that gives me my center edge down here along the bottom, I'm going to put a pin on either side along the bottom edge. Now, obviously, this washcloth is way wider than the pot holder, so I'm going to have to gather that down to fit. So along the entire top edge, I'm going to use my needle and thread to put a long running stitch. Then I can just tug on either end of the thread to gather the washcloth in to be narrower. Next, I need to choose exactly where on the washcloth I want to be sewing and line that point up with the pin on one side of my pot holder. Then I pin the washcloth in place and then match it up on the other side. Once I have both sides pinned in place, I just tug on the strings until the washcloth is gathered down to be roughly the same width as the pot holder. Then I just sort of tug lightly here and there to make it lie nice and pretty. Once I've got the fullness pretty evenly distributed across the oven mitt, I'm going to go ahead and pin some of the extra fabric in place so that everything will get nicely and evenly proportioned as I sew it down. Then I just used my machine and sewed one line all the way across the pot holder, trying to keep all the fullness of the washcloth sort of even as I went along. Make sure you back tack at the beginning and at the end and that you remove your pins as you go along and they don't get lost in the fullness or you could break a needle. And now I have the washcloth attached to the pot holder and it has that nice full effect at the bottom to sort of relate to Minnie Mouse's skirt. 
I want the lace to sort of peek up from behind the washcloth to give it sort of that lace petticoat feel. So I'm making sure to sew the lace onto the back of the washcloth with some overlap so it's definitely peeking up from behind. Before I sew the lace down, I make sure to fold the edge of it back around on itself so that I won't have a raw edge poking out of the side. I chose to sew the lace on by hand so that I could hide all the stitches very easily. So I just sewed through the border on the edge of the washcloth and the lace only so that no stitches will show through the front. Then I just did this all the way across the bottom of the washcloth and made sure to tuck the far end of the lace under as well, just as I did on the other side. So again, I won't have a raw edge of lace. Now I've got the cute little lace trim coming out of the bottom and if you really wanted a very subtle Minnie Mouse, you could totally stop here. But you know, is it really Minnie Mouse without a polka dot bow? Then I just played around to find the proportion of bow that I wanted in relationship to the pot holder section. Then I basically made the bow like a very tiny pillowcase where right sides together I sewed across the top and the bottom and most of the center back, but I left a portion of the center back open so that I could turn the bow to be right side out. Once I had the bow turned to have the correct side of the fabric out, I went ahead and very carefully poked the corners out to get them nice and square with a pair of scissors. Then I used my needle and thread again to carefully stitch up the small hole in the center back of the bow. Now that the bow was completely sewn up, I went ahead and carefully tucked down the center to make the nice pretty bow shape. Once I was happy with that, I went ahead and put a pin in it just to sort of carefully hold it in place so that I can take a few stitches just to keep everything in its nice pretty shape. Next, I cut a length of ribbon, just enough to really tie it into a bow. Now I'm gonna take my polka dot bow and attach it to the loop of the pot holder with just a few stitches just to keep it in place. Now that the polka dot bow is sewn to the outside on the front half of the pot holder, I'm going to take the long white tails that I had done and I'm going to sew the center of that to the inside of the back of the pot holder. Again, just a few stitches just to keep everything mounted in place and you could totally do this on your machine if you preferred. Now I can take that white ribbon, run it through the loop of the pot holder, tie it in a pretty bow, and I'll be able to hang it from whatever I want. And now I have a cute little Minnie Mouse towel that I can hang from my oven door. It'll be convenient when we're washing our hands at the sink or whatever, and I won't have to constantly be picking it up off the floor.
I think it turned out cute and practical and I'm very happy with it. Let me know in the comments down below what characters would be fun for me to add to my collection. If you found this entertaining and inspiring, I hope you will give it a quick like. Have a beautiful day and I will see you next time.